What's up, Yvonne's? It is Friday, which means it's another episode of $15 Friday. Thank you all for uh, tuning in on this very live version. Um, today, what are we doing? We're doing wines with corks again. It seems that I have uh, I've gotten back on the train of pulling a cork out of a bottle. It feels good. Um, but if, uh, if you're still not there yet, make sure you check out last week's $15 Friday where I popped the screw top off and uh, did a little mini version of a Matthias and wine called Tondu. Um, this week we're sticking to another light bodied red uh, that I also found at Whole Foods. So this bottle is not available at wine.com. I apologize uh, for that lack of availability, but I think you guys are really gonna love this one and I think it's gonna be very uh, easy to find as it was in Whole Foods. Um, so another wine that I was assisted with um, by my friend at Whole Foods. I'm sorry, I still didn't catch your name. Um, but I owe you a big thank you because this is two weeks that you've helped me out. Um, anyway, back to the wine. So, guys, we talked about this before. Kermit Lynch, anytime I see it on a label and anytime somebody's like, hey, this bottle's pretty good and it's like $15, I'm usually game. Uh, so that's exactly what happened. I walked into Whole Foods, I, um, I was looking around and I was like, what do you like around $15? And he showed me this bottle, I turned it around, and I was like, Kermit Lynch, cool, awesome. So I grabbed it, um, popped it open, and, and of course it was perfect. Um, so we are doing a little light-bodied red today. Um, this is a blend of, I'm actually gonna refer back to my notes here because I'm forgetting exactly, 60% Corvina and 40% Rondinella from the Veneto region. Um, deciphering Italian labels, it is incredibly difficult. I have, I have a lot of trouble with it sometimes too because um, it's a pretty complicated region. Region. So breaking down this little label for you here on the front you've got Corta Gardina which is going to be the uh, the producer of this wine. Did I say that right? No. Corta Gardoni. <laughs> See I have so much trouble. Um, Corta Gardoni. Um, La Fontaine is the the cuvee of this wine and then I'll flip it around on the back and I will show you the back. Um, on the back, you will see here, it says Bartolino. That's the DOC. Uh, that's the specific region within Italy, within the Veneto region that this is coming from. Now, because it does say DOC on it, that means it does meet all of the requirements that the region of Bartolino deems necessary to put that on the label. So, meaning it, it contains the uh, allowed varietals and it meets all of the requirements from farming to viticulture to aging. Um, where sh oh, that's a great question actually. You should, where the question is, um, because I realized last week the questions don't show up for you guys. Where do you see Kermit Lynch on the label? Excellent question. It will always say it right down here, imported by Kermit Lynch, um, just on the bottom here. So that's where you will find it always. Um, mostly on the back of the label now, I have seen Kermit uh, put in some front label business, um, but mostly it's gonna be in the back label and say imported by. Um, anyway, so back to the wine. The uh, the DOC basically guarantees quality from that particular region. Um, the winery does have to meet all of those standards. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean the wine's gonna be great, that you're gonna love the wine, but it is an indicator of that specific region's style and tendency. So if you think that you really love the region of Bartolino and you've seen Bartolino DOC on, their, on the label before, um, it's a pretty good indicator, like it sort of being a trust agent um, within its own country that the wine's gonna be great. So let's taste the wine, right? That's what you came before. Ah, uh, so on the nose, your favorite part. Um, why do I love this wine? Because um, it sort of smells like Sonoma, Sonoma Pinot. Can we get, oh, perfect, good. I'm glad that worked out for you, Kurt. Um, this reminds me a lot of Sonoma Pinot Noir in a very old world style. The nose is very floral. It's got a lot of strawberry. It almost has a nose kind of like a Zin. It has like a, a strawberry peppery nose to it, um, but it smells just like rose petals. And if we're going back to the quality of the fruit, I will say on the nose here, um, the quality of the fruit is a little bit deceiving on the nose. It does have like a riper tendency on the nose, um, but as we move to the palate, it's gonna give way to more of that sour fruit component um, and be more Italian and less Sonoma Pinot. So on to the nose. Mm. I'm gonna say palate. Um, on to the palate. This really reminds me of like a cross between a Sonoma Pinot and a Zinfandel in a very Italian, Italian style. So the fruit's definitely on the more um, sour side of things. That said, it has a really pretty, um, like freshly picked strawberry, still hanging on to that like rose petal nose um, that's coming off in the palate here. 
body is very light it's really soft the tannins are super 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 light um, really fine tannins I don't think this sees a ton of age I'm just gonna go check back here um, no it's not looking like it's seen too much age maybe like a urine bottle um, mm. to me this is like a cross between like I said a cross between maybe a Pinot and a Zin um, on the lighter side of things and then a cross between like maybe Sonoma and Willamette so it's got a little bit of an earthiness to it it's got a little bit of a savory characteristic um, there is like a touch of that dried herbs and spices which is fairly usual for a region like Italy um, and that fruit is starting to like now that I'm getting into it starting to err on the side of like a little bit more dried it still has like a sour component to it but it has um, you know when you get like a bag of dried strawberries or like um what is that freeze dried strawberries and they have that like it smells like it's really intense the flavor is really concentrated um and then you bite into it and the the fruit is is almost on the sour side but like it leaves you with a slightly ripe finish that's kind of what this rem this wine reminds me of it's like freeze dried strawberries mm. super yum really light great wine for um people that love pinot uh 14.99 at at whole foods um what else do we need to talk about with you guys um i think that's probably it i think we can kind of keep it short today um guys if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up especially uh i really appreciate those of you that that tuned in live for the video today um Obviously, if you're watching this, I would love you to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Um, and if there are varietals and regions, like Kurt, you mentioned you are in class right now studying about something. Um, I think it was Italian that like flew by, didn't quite catch it. Um, if you're studying things and, and you want me to dive into some uh, benchmark producers or grapes or um, regions that you're really curious about that you... Uh, would like some recommendations I am all ears please put it in the comments be below um, and I will pay attention to that I've had um, I've been putting together a list of things that you guys have asked for and I'm working on some videos to get those out to you now um, as far as that goes I think that's it for $15 Friday um, oh I should probably really quickly talk about acid the acid is uh, there but it's not as high acid as the wine last week so if last week's wine kind of scared you because it was fairly high acid um, this is probably gonna be better suited for you because the fruit is a little bit more ripe there's less acid it is still light bodied like the wine last week um, and my guess is if you put a report in this oh that's the other thing that's what I forgot uh, Repour didn't fit in that Tondu bottle last week, so I couldn't save it um, in the way that I wanted to, so I stuck a cork in it, um, and we'll check it that way, but unfortunately Repour didn't, didn't work for that. Um, Repour should work for this. I will be curious to see how this does after a week or two um, with that in it. I think it'll be perfect, um, and I really love the fact that this wine has um, enough structure, not too much structure, that I think it's gonna hold up over the course of a few days, even if you don't have the Repour. Anyway, um, guys, I have to go to work. It's work time. It's Friday. It's uh, it's Big Night at Press. Um, if you happen to be in Napa Valley and want to come say hi, please do. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and um, I wish you all a wonderful weekend. I'll see you all soon. Bye.